So one of our quarantine activities that we already had planned before this whole thing happened was to build a garden in our backyard. We have uh, some chickens right here next to like a little barn that we're gonna put some horses in later. Um, but we have this little area where we wanna build, what is it called? An accessible garden. An accessible garden, <laughs> but with like raised platforms in it so that Cambry can reach all of the vegetation Beds, yeah. <laughs> without having to like bend over for the ground. And so we or have- get out of my wheelchair. Right, it just makes it a lot easier. So we have an idea and I hope it works, but first we have to make sure this uh, whole place is level. Remember uh, what we do next? Let's get started. There used to be a bunch of weeds back here, but we uh, piled them all up and burned them, which looked pretty cool. I don't know. <laughs> So we've been planning on making this garden for ever since we got this house and uh, now is the time. It is like the first really warm day of the year and uh, I think we've already missed a couple of the planting vegetable things. <laughs> I think we're a little, yeah, delayed on when we were supposed to plant them, but we'll still get some garden in. As you can see, we're not experts at this, so we're just kind of hoping for the best. What we're really trying to accomplish though is build it in a way that Cambry can use every single inch of it. All right, so the plan is to raise the beds up so that I'm not having to get out of my wheelchair onto the ground to try and like weed and trim and whatever else you have to do for plant <laughs> life. Anyway, so we're gonna lift it up so that it's about my height. They're about like two feet off the ground so I can reach over and grab the plants and weed and take care of them and water them. And it'll be at a level that's not straining on my back. We're not gonna put concrete down. I'm not sure what we're gonna put down, but we're going to make Pavers. Yeah, pavers between the aisles and around the bed. So it's totally accessible for my wheels. I'm not getting stuck in the dirt. One cool thing is we chose to go with redwood for the uh, outside of this because redwood apparently is <laughs> is, looks really good, but it's also a hardwood that bugs don't like to eat for some reason. Something with the chemical makeup. But it's also, it can last for 30 years out in the elements, which, you know, it's a flower garden. It's going to be vegetable garden it's going to be outside in the elements for hopefully 30 years you know and hopefully it stands up that long if you compare it to pine that's not treated because yeah. you don't want it to be treated it's not good for the soil but if you were to do a pine um flower bed it can only last like five years untreated and we don't want to use chemical wood remember i built my uh, large table saw table thing out of treated wood some parts of it and there's like chemicals and stuff in there that we just don't want around our vegetables So we decided to go with two by 12s because we knew Cambry's wheelchairs, wheels are about two feet tall and we don't want to have her leaning over a whole lot when she's working in the garden. And the less pieces of wood that we have to work with, the faster the project goes. So two by 12s by 12 feet long uh, is what we decided to go with. So right now, this is where the dirt's gonna go and this is gonna be an aisle where we can walk and you know have wheelchair access. This board right here is going to be the start of the next dirt finger. Redwood is probably the most expensive kind of wood, but because it lasts for so long, we splurged a little bit and got it. Also, when you're working with wood, it has a tendency to bow or, you know, flex in certain directions. So we're using these metal plates to uh, hold the boards together lengthwise and at the joints where we butt two of them together to keep them from separating. The metal plates hold them in place much better than a screw or a nail would. So right now, we're getting closer to finishing these fingers. So once again, this is going to be where dirt goes. And right now we're just propping it up on uh, spare boards we have that we're gonna use as braces in a minute. Um, and that just keeps it level while we are getting the sides square. We're using a four x four at each of the joints that we can just screw into from either side to keep the joint solid. And then here, 
we can put it on the inside of the flower bed. So we are finished with the construction for the most part. We just need to add supports on the inside to keep it from bowing out when we add the dirt. Um, we are putting this black cloth between the seams. So, you know, a couple years down the road, if the boards ever do warp a tiny bit, we won't have dirt seeping out uh, through the sides. So that's where we're at, almost done. So here's a quick little update. Right now we have these boards in the center to keep the sides from bowing out if there's too much dirt inside. And then we put in our first, first layer of dirt and the rest is soon to come. So the dirt we've added up to this point has just been like dirt we scraped down from when we were building this uh, flower pot, large flower pot. <laughs> Veggie garden. And uh, my brother-in-law is gonna take the camera and show how we get the manure for this, uh, this project. Cambry works at a barn that has a lot of horses and these horses have been generating. A lot of compost. A lot of compost. So you can't use fresh uh, horse manure. It has to be marinating for a while. I don't know, I'll let Riley explain a little bit more. Uh, he's my brother-in-law and he is going to be the one in charge of showing how the compost works. That's right. I'll go get the good stuff. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm here picking up the compost for the garden boxes and this behind me is a massive mountain of compost that has been sitting for over a year just marinating and breaking down, making it the perfect compost for a garden. When you're planting a garden, what you really want is you want it to be really moist and you want to keep moisture down at the roots of what you're planting. And that's what this manure or compost is really for. It's better than just dirt that you'll find on the ground because dirt is really dry. This compost really holds in the moisture and makes it a lot better for planting stuff. We have probably enough for now. We got our trailer full and our truck bed full. I mean, look how low that is to the ground. That's a ton of weight right there. So we're just gonna haul it off and start throwing it in the garden boxes. Here we go. Also make sure to subscribe to the Cox Clan. And those are the guys who have worked hard to give us the compost. All of it came from them and those ones. So we are done, the wood is laid, the dirt is in place, now what? Now I gotta plant something. <laughs> if you guys have any suggestions for us, leave them down in the comments. We are new with this whole garden thing. Any tricks of the trade, yeah. we don't have green thumbs yet. <laughs> we are gonna add pavers down here eventually, so it'll be a little bit smoother, but let's see if Cambry can reach all the way across, or halfway, perfect. That looks more than halfway. So now we know Cambry can reach every square inch of the garden, no matter where she's at. She can be in this aisle and reach these legs, or uh, around the back side, there's room for her back there as well. Can't wait for it to grow. So we will make an update video uh, in the fall when we harvest, if we get any harvest. Some of our things I think that we thought about planning, it takes like two years, so we'll see. But we'll still get, I mean, we wanna do corn and like the basics and carrots, and those will all be this year. Anyway, cross your fingers for us. Let us know what you think we should plant. We're open to suggestions since we're new at this. I think it's pretty impressive that the wood managed to stay in one shape. There's probably like 10 to 15,000 pounds worth of dirt in there, which I do have an idea if it does start to bow out, I can use something called all thread with the uh, brackets on either side, but I'll make a video about that if this does you know, start to bow like in the future. it looks like it's holding up pretty good. So far, we'll see. Cambry will doing updates on her Instagram throughout the year if you want to see uh, our progress at Cambry K. And uh, thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you around. <laughs>